lay my name Hello my beautiful darlings, how are you today? I hope you're having an amazing day and thank you for watching. As you can see today I'm really glamorous because we are talking about the goddess of glamour, the goddess of love, Rita Hayworth. And we're going to continue the series of all of the Hollywood glamour icons that we can be inspired by and all of the feminine icons that we can be inspired by. And I mean like Rita Hayworth is such a beautiful icon and she basically invented glamour. She was with the movie Gilda, the definition of the femme fatale in the movie Gilda. So we're going to talk about the movie Gilda today. And in this movie, what made her so feminine and so irresistible, she exudes sensuality, feminine charms. She is this kind of woman that can clap her hand and have any man at her feet. Seriously, she's gorgeous. We are going to learn about her mannerism, her style, her way of moving and speaking and all of that ma that made her so iconic. So if you want to know more, keep on watching. But first, just wanted to let you know that if you want to see more of my content, subscribe down below. Also, follow me on my Instagram, which is at Lisa Hartstein, and also join me on my Patreon in case you want some more personal advice. Rita Hayworth is one of the most iconic women of the 40s and of the old glamorous icon and she is really iconic in the film noir Gilda. So Gilda this movie is a film noir from the 40s and 1946 I think. Such a beautiful movie. It's so iconic. I recommend seeing it in case you haven't seen it. And so this is the story of Gilda. A woman, irresistible woman with beautiful hair, with beautiful fluffy voluminous hair and she is a femme fatale in the movie. And she is married to this really really rich man that own a casino. This man is hiring another man to, to work with him and we learn that uh, this actual man that is working with him named Johnny actually no Gilda. So this is this kind of tension and she wants to make him jealous because they had a story together before. I always say there's something about Latin men. For one thing they can dance, for another thing... And she's really good at this. She's really good at being irresistible in this movie. is also funny. Johnny takes care of all the things that belong to me. He runs the joint. He runs the joint. Hear that, Johnny? You're to take care of me because I belong to the boss. How will you like that? Everything is so funny in this movie. Everything is fun, funny, glamorous. I love the style and everything. So let's get started. So let me know what you think of my dress. It's very over the top today. <laughs> So first we can talk about her hair because her hair are so voluminous. I'm in love with her hair in this movie. I want it, I want I want to do this hair tutorial. I want to learn how to do her hair that are so fluffy and voluminous and fabulous. And you know the kind of whoop hair flip that she does is also super famous. You know the hair flip of like Gilda, are you decent? And then she's like, sure I'm decent. <laughs> you know this kind of femme fatale move, it's super famous and that made her famous in the entire world. Gilda, are you decent? Me? Sure, I'm decent. Her hair are famous in the entire world. Her is just perfect, you know, it's just perfect, this kind of perfect hair, really glamour, the old glamour style, it's her hair. And her hair flip make men go crazy about her. They look like, wow, when she does that. I really like this when she does that shit with her hair. Oh yeah, I know, I've seen it three times this month. Uh, Gilda, are you decent? Me? Oh. Ah. God, I love it. Curly, voluminous, and I love it because I have voluminous hair and I have curly hair. So I love to see that because then I can recognize myself in her. And for the ladies that follow me that also have voluminous curly hair, it's perfect because then we have a fabulous icon that is not having those, you know, straight hair. And actually in the 50s, they were not having really a lot of straight hair. They were curly because even if they had straight hair, they would make it curly and voluminous and fabulous and glamorous. And I love it. Let's talk about her charm because she is absolutely charming especially towards men i mean she knows what she's doing the way she looks at them is just really strong really deep it's like a femme fatale look you know it's not this kind of shy look that i was talking about you know in other videos 
the kind of shy look or the kind of innocent look that would have Audrey Hepburn for example Audrey would have this innocent big eyes look and that would just be beautiful but she has this more sensual and strong eye contact you know this kind of femme fatale way of seeing very intense very you know piercing eyes she's playing with her eyes and femme fatale I think in my opinion and they have those piercing eyes she has a really strong bodily kinesthetic intelligence as I told you with Marilyn Monroe she does have that also when she moves she know how to move in space that's a kind of intelligent and of course Rita has that because she is a fabulous dancer also she is a professional dancer and she dances like a goddess so in the movie also um, she is really not afraid to be closer to men to really have this kind of she talks to them really closely you know and you can see that she is not afraid to talk to them you know she's not afraid to be confident she's very confident in her body language and she's very playful also with her eyes and her way of talking you know she's like mm-hmm oh yeah Johnny you know she keeps her femininity and her confidence is not aggressive it's still very feminine it's really a mix that is just fabulous when she enter a room everyone is looking at her and she really know how to make men jealous I mean yeah <laughs> in the movie she's married with a man but she doesn't hesitate to flirt with other men which I don't recommend of course but it's funny you know it's a funny movie you know doesn't it bother you at all that you're married what I want to know is, does it bother you? She used her charm towards other men. As, a, as they say in the movie, it's totally easy for a woman like Gilda to have any man she wants. And that's because she's beautiful, first of all, she's fabulous, but also she exudes so much confidence and also her style is a big part of looking good you know as i always say i love fashion and for me in the leveling up process and being more feminine fashion is a big part of it that's why i love to talk about it on this channel and i think that in the movie she mastered the art of fashion i love it i've never seen outfit as glamorous as they are in this movie so her style and the way she dressed exude a lot of confidence, femininity and all of that. You can see that I put on this dress to mimic her style and she has a lot of beautiful gowns with sparkle. Even when she's just at home she has those beautiful long gowns that are very, you know, they're comfortable but they're fluid and still feminine and she walks around like this. Especially when she does the scene of, you know, the hair flip and then she has this beautiful gown it's like this beautiful fluid gown and i'm just uh, obsessed with it i want that and it's hard to find those kind of gown nowadays even nightgown even beautiful nightgown that they had before this kind of glamorous era so fascinating and I want to be dressed like this every day. <laughs> During the entire movie, she is dressed to the nine. Beautiful sequence, sparkly thing, and I love I love sparkly thing, I love glitter of course. <laughs> her long black satin dress during the movie when she does this number that we all know put the blame on me iconic and everyone knows that dress and i think she made famous those kind of long satin dresses with the gloves and she's singing while she take off her gloves it's so iconic everyone knows that scene you know and everyone knows the song the scene is just very famous back in the days every man was in love with her you know she even said that men were falling in love with her based on on her character in the movie which she was not you know but they were falling in love with Gilda so she made famous those kind of outfits she made famous those kind of gloves the long satin gloves it's really synonym of the old glamour style as we all know the two piece that she's wearing when she does the Amado Mio the number of Amado Mio I'm so in love with that number but she's dancing in such a beautiful way and her dress is so so like breathtakingly beautiful it's so flattering for her body it makes her appear like a goddess you have a lot of things that have a shoulder also she's wearing also beautiful coats you know one time she's wearing this very glittery sparkly sequin coat and I'm so in love with it I would want to wear that nowadays but everyone would look at me and 
and ask what is she doing everything accentuate her feminine figure and her femininity and accentuate her move it's a big part of the feminine allure that she has like a beautiful package it's enhanced the piece of art that you are of course the hair the makeup is always on point super super fancy there is not a single moment where she's not looking breathtaking so her move during the movie her moves are very soft she has a beautiful posture as a lot of glamorous icon a lot of beautiful feminine icon they have this beautiful you know posture as i said she has a very very strong bodily kinesthetic intelligence uh, as she is a dancer and most dancers actually are moving really well you know because they are used to moving their body in such a beautiful way it's also when she's just walking there she's just walking she's just taking care of her hair she's just everything that she does is soft and feminine she has excellent manners and she's very elegant and she exudes also a lot of sex appeal and she exudes that just by being herself it's just incredible it's especially how she look at the people her look her way of standing there you know she's always accentuating her femininity you know she's very very those deep eyes you know like on the on the side you know like this she's always looking at people in such a, a sensual way especially men when she's dancing you're just hypnotized by her dance and like seriously i want that kind of movie to make a comeback because that's such beautiful movies you know and these these movies are just piece of art i'm not seeing that in kind of modern movies and that's why i'm so in love with the movie from the 40s 50s 60s they were made in such a different way you know she's dancing like this you know and she's a siren she's hypnotizing everyone so her voice is deep and sensual you know she doesn't have a high-pitched voice like Marilyn she have a deep kind of voice very sensual you know very soft still but sensual voice and not too deep like Jessica Rabbit kind of voice you know no she has a voice that is just in the middle and and she's just you know talking naturally but when she talks it's always very playful and because you're so nice I'm going to show you something my husband gave it to me for a coming home present is it cute 50,000 pesos and it's cute isn't she fabulous Johnny it's still always very charismatic and sexy and she doesn't have to do too much to be that sensual and that charismatic you know I think that Marilyn is doing more in terms of you know um, moves and sensual move and sensual look you know and I think that Rita Hayworth in the movie Gilda and in a lot of other movies actually it's just almost like it's natural for her to be that sensual you went to a picture show tonight alone really would you like to know whether I enjoyed it She's all about seduction during the whole movie and she knows that she has a feminine power. She's not afraid to use her feminine power to charm men, to obtain what she wants to obtain, you know, everything. She will always be fine with the power, the feminine power that she has, you know. You know that she will always uh, be married to such high caliber men, you know that she will find a billionaire probably you know that this kind of woman will always be fine because sh she used her femininity as a big power and I always think that's a big power also she's smiling a lot and that's something that I noticed she's always smiling have you seen that she's basically smiling the whole movie it's so charming and she doesn't smile the same way as you know this kind of innocent smile she's she have this playful kind of smile you know mm-hmm oh yeah one does let's hate her shall we Bella? smile that makes her so lovable she is the perfect representation of the glamorous bombshell very seductive every every man dream to have but not every man can handle her you know not every man can handle having that much beauty and that much femininity okay let's talk about her confidence so the, her confidence in the movie is just really really strong and it makes her a little bit different from other type of movies you know the femme fatale confidence but it's not too much it's not aggressive it's not masculine at all it's very very feminine hello good evening senorita the answer is no the answer is yes 
I'd love it. Kind of confidence, you know, you can be confident and feminine. You don't have to be all shy and, you know, uh, this kind of little princess that doesn't know that she's beautiful to be feminine. You know, you can be like Gilda in the movie and be more you know this kind of siren that is very confident of course it's going to intimidate more <laughs> but she has a big power with that so in the movie she's very very intelligent very charismatic intelligent confident and she doesn't hesitate to respond and to have her opinion you married him for his money that happened to come with it she's really unapologetic she say what she say, she think what she think, and she's not afraid to say it. You know, independent in her way of thinking. I've got some news for you, Johnny. I'm going to do exactly what I please when I please. But she's not a people pleaser at all. And she knows what to say at what moment to make men go crazy. Just a darling. Now get him out of here. But I like it. If he leaves, I'd go with him. And she also doesn't hesitate to respond, to be very playful. You know, Johnny is kind of teasing her a lot in, during the movie, and she doesn't hesitate to tease him as well. But the young man, the young man would love it too, but he can't afford it. Still always soft and feminine, never too aggressive, never too arrogant. Very confident, but never arrogant. That's the thing with her, you know? You can see that in the movie, you can sense that, and it's what's made her so powerful. It, she doesn't have this aggression in her confidence and this kind of thing that would turn people off, you know? Most people are turned off by arrogance. It's like nothing is really affecting her. Who do you think you're kidding, John? She's showing that she doesn't show really her emotion and that's part of the femme fatale kind of role, you know, the, the femme fatale is not really showing much of her emotion, but she'll still have humor, you know, she still can play, have humor, laugh, and you know, be still positive. She doesn't, she's not always like, you know, this kind of arrogant uh, femme fatale, you know, always very serious. She can be, you know, smiling, laughing, having a good time. Uh, her. Oh. And say jokes. I love that she has humor. Besides being pretty, you're positively intelligent. Well, here's the laundry waiting to be picked up. And she has an answer for everything, and I think that's part of the femme fatale role, to have this exaggerated confidence. This is Gabe Evans, Johnny Farrell, all the way from New York. Isn't he pretty? To protect herself, you know, from men, because the femme fatale are mostly characters that want to protect themselves from men that's why they are overly you know confident and glamorous and most of the time in movies they use this kind of femininity to manipulate men and you know to <laughs> have what she wants but in the movie it turns out that she's still you know um very charming and she's still you know a very good person she doesn't use her charm for bad things actually also her mystery her mystery is a big part of the movie we don't know that much about her and that's part also of the femme fatale role. It's just that we don't know too much about this mysterious woman, very private. We don't know that much of their past with Johnny on the movie and we always want to know more about her, you know? That's part of her, her mysterious aura. You knew it before. If you're worried about Johnny Farrell, don't be. I hate him. And he hates you. That's very apparent. That's part of why we're so fascinated by her character also. And I always say that's a good idea, and especially if you want to appear more mysterious, if you want to be more respected sometimes, it's a good thing to have this aura of mystery and don't reveal too much detail about your life. You know, those kind of women know how to be a very feminine, sensual and elegant at the same time and also mysterious and I really loved her character in the movie and I think she deserved better in the movie rather than those men I think that she deserved better in the movie than Johnny tell me what you think of the movie tell me what you think of what she deserved in the movie because I love her character she deserved a really nice 
gentleman you know and she's still very lovable she wanted to be loved that's it or if you haven't seen the movie go watch the movie and then come back here and tell me what you think because I want to interact with you and I want to know what you think of this fabulous movie and the wardrobe the wardrobe is just worth seeing the movie just for the wardrobe of the movie <laughs> so that's it for this video my darlings I hope you liked it and I hope it was helpful for you don't worry there are the icon that I will do of course course I'm loving this kind of video you know let me know in the comments down below what you think of this fabulous movie of Rita Hayworth and everything don't forget to subscribe and also join my Instagram it's at Lisa Hartstyle and until next time I'm giving you so much kisses Mwah. goodbye